there are three checkpoints in the cell cycle and they go here between the G1 and the S phase here between the G2 and the M phase and then the third one's going to be right here in the middle of the uh, middle of the M phase so remember that the M phase is prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and then cytokinesis so all of those are in here so that means that the M checkpoint is going to occur during metaphase so all right let's get the labels on there real quick so here we're going to call this one the G1 checkpoint the G2 checkpoint and the M checkpoint so starting with the G1 the purpose of this one is sort of this is the what I call the commitment checkpoint so this is the one that's going to determine whether or not the cell continues through the entire cell cycle. So once you're here, your job is to go all the way around as a cell. So there's no supposedly stopping in S, stopping in G2, or stopping in M. You pass this one, you go all the way through. So some cells don't ever want to divide, like cells like muscles, um, nerves, nervous, so neurons tend to not divide, and blood cells so like red blood cells don't divide either so since they never divide they're just kind of frozen in here because they never make it through this checkpoint if you're frozen in the g1 checkpoint we say that you're permanently in something called g0 so if you ever see g0 that means oh that's just a cell that does not divide so moving on to the g2 checkpoint so for this one the purpose is to ensure that there was proper dna replication So remember that the DNA was replicated during S phase. So here's where DNA replication happens. They move into G2 phase, growth and development, and then they get to the checkpoint. If the DNA wasn't copied properly, the G2's checkpoint's job is to make sure that it does not continue on to the M phase. So in this case, if the DNA is messed up, it'll try to repair it. And if it can't repair it, then the cell needs to kill itself, which is a process called apoptosis, because you don't want a cell to divide if the DNA is messed up. All right, moving into the M phase. So the M checkpoint is a little bit more complex, but in general, the job here is to make sure that the spindle's attached properly. So remember, in if you're going through mitosis, you remember you have a chromosome, and the chromosome in mitosis, during metaphase, they all line up in the middle, and they kind of look like this. All right, and there's these spindles that kind of come in and they attach to something called the kinetochore within the centromere. And the job eventually is going to be to pull these apart. And you're going to want them to separate equally so you get one guy here and one guy here. Well, if the spindle, which is made of microtubules, doesn't attach properly to all of the chromosomes that are lined up in the middle, you're going to end up with two daughter cells that don't have the right amount of chromosomes. Either like an entire one will shift to one side, meaning that you know the daughter cell on this side got nothing, or you know you could get some sort of breaking of the chromosome. You want none of that because it'll produce daughter cells that don't have the right amount of DNA. And so the M checkpoint ensures that sort of the next phases and anaphase and telophase and cytokinesis will result in two cells that have had their DNA properly, properly divided, right? So remember, there's three checkpoints, right? And they're all important. G1 is your commitment. G2, make sure the DNA was replicated properly. And the M checkpoint, make sure that everything in mitosis is kind of going smoothly and that the spindles have attached to chromosomes properly.